And one of the ways you can receive favor is by praying favor provoking prayers. You can pray your way into a realm of favor. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 10. We're still praying. Tonight we are trusting God for an encounter with the mantle of favor. The mantle of favor. First Samuel chapter 10. Media, can you help us? And Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Verse 2. When thou art departed from me, you will find two men by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Benjamin at Zelzah. And they will say unto you, a restoration has come into your life. He said, the asses which thou went seeking, somebody else took it and took it back home. He said, you were looking for something. You tried every skill, but God has instructed someone to take that donkey back home not to take it and look for you to take it back to where it was supposed to be number one number two it says okay can, can we go to um verse three then thou shalt go forward and thou shalt come to the plain of tabor and there you shall meet three men going up to god in bethel the place of abundance he said one carrying three kids another carrying three loaves of bread another carrying a bottle of wine you will meet influential people he says something by reason of an anointing you will encounter people carrying strange resources he said when they see you listen verse four please help us media they will salute you and they will give you two loaves of bread. He said, which thou shalt receive. They are on their way going. But an anointing compels you. Listen. Favor is a dangerous mystery. When men look at you, that anointing makes them behave to you in a certain way. It's not like they plan doing it. Hallelujah. There was an anointing upon Esther. And the Bible says she found favor in the eyes of everyone who looked at her. The moment they make contact with you, a reaction happens in the spirit. Hallelujah. A little boy leaves his father's house in desperation and returns with an anointing that brings uncommon results. We are going to pray. Lord, any man that sees my face, let that anointing be activated. Lift your voice and pray. Any man that sees my face, let that anointing for favor speak. Any helper, any man of influence, their contact with my face will command favor. Are you praying? Any man that sees my face, I activate that mystery on contact with me. Maleke Rabosia. Access to strange resources. Access to the heart of kings. Access to the heart of nobles. Access to the heart of men of influence by this mantle of favor by this mantle of favor hallelujah hallelujah the bible says from the day potiphar set his eyes on joseph something happened to potiphar 
and he could not victimize that boy again he was sold as a slave a slave is a property but he found favor let me tell you something about favor when the favor of god is upon you a man does not need to know you to bless you pharaoh hated israel but he instructed a release of abundance in one night the bible says the israelites spoiled the egyptians it was like a charm because after they left he now recovered and said what did i do chase them and take it back abimelech blessed abraham with abundance a man who had lied to him it warranted punishment but the bible says abimelech blessed abraham blessed abraham genesis 26 we we'll read from verse 14 or from verse 12 let's start from 12 down to 16 four verses genesis genesis 26 and isaac sowed in that land and received in that same year an hundredfold and the lord blessed him 13 and the man works great and went forward and grew until he became very great verse 4 for he had possessions of flock and possessions of herd and great store of servants and the philistines envied him verse 15 for all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of abraham his father the philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth 16 and abimelech said unto isaac go from us for thou art much mightier than we i like it to say lord begin to exalt me by your mantle of favor go ahead and pray lift your voice thou art mightier not by skill thou art mightier not by age we see that there is a mystery upon your life lift your voice and pray he said go from us Go away from this region. Make sure you are praying. Lord, you begin to exalt me by your favor, by this mantle of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Revelations 5.12. Revelations 5.12. Let's have the communion. We are taking the blood tonight. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the lamb that was slain. That blood he shed gave him access to power. We cried for it yesterday. The second dimension is riches. There is a way God can favor a man and bring wealth and riches. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that feared the Lord. He said, The generation of the upright shall be mighty. He said, wealth and riches shall be in his house. Not be around, be in his house. He says, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Your gates shall swing open and you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I open the gates of my destiny to favor all kinds of people strangers strangers lift your voice please pray please pray outside make sure you're praying lord i open the gate of my destiny strangers your blood has given me access to riches to wealth i open up the gates i open up the gates in the name of Jesus, I open up the gates. 
Pray. He's working in me. He's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. It is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 9. Can we have the communion, please? Leviticus 26, verse 9. I'd like us to read it. Can we have New King James? Is that possible or amplified? Anyone, please. Amplified or New King James. Hallelujah. Start from verse 9. You're on verse 10. Go ahead and read. One, two, read. He said, for I will be leaning towards you with favor. I will regard you. As a result of that, I will begin. I will make you not you will try to do it me i have chosen to make you fruitful it says i will make you fruitful i will multiply you i will establish you verse 10 it says and you shall eat the abundance of the old store there was something meant for you that you have not touched i will go back to revisit things that you are supposed to enjoy he says you shall eat the abundance of the old store of produce long kept there are blessings that have been kept but by witchcraft and manipulations you've not had access to it he said they are still there although you have not seen them they are still there and he said you will eat them he called them an old store and then he says long kept he said and clear out the old to do what to make room for the new in other words what you will begin to enjoy is a restoration first i need you to empty the storehouse to make room for what i'm about to do lift your voice and say lord by favor i receive restoration by favor you will eat of the old store you will eat of the old store shake
Alleluia. Alleluia. We are going to pray. He said, even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not. He says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was his name thereof. I'd like you to begin to call things in your life. Listen, there are things that have mocked God in our lives. I'd like you to insist. God has already told you, there's no such thing as losses. They are still in the realm of the spirit. Call them by their names and say, appear in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Pray. Shake it, Abara. Call for fortunes. Call for opportunities. In the name of the Lord Jesus, call them to appear by the mantle of favor. Call them to appear. 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 Leko toko soto kote. Rekete branch kamaria na balada. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We, we just got word that it's like there's a little hitch with the communion. So it's possible we may not be able to take it. We really apologize, but we're still going to pray. Hallelujah. We're still going to pray. Listen. A man's life will be a repeated cycle of hardship. I believe in principles. I have taught you principles. We have taught principles of financial dominion. We have, we have taught all sorts of principles. I believe in that. But I have also seen how God can veto laws and step into a man's life and do remarkable things. Are we together? Job 42, verse 10. Job 42, verse 10. Life is more than science. I believe in principles. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And also the Lord gave Job. Who gave him? Where did he get it from? A man can get a thing from God. He said, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. How did that happen? I will tell you how it happened. God did not leave us in the dark. He didn't fall from heaven. Next verse. Then came unto him all his brethren. That was the first sign. When favor is upon your life, strange men start coming. Never trivialize the appearance of men. The Bible says, he that told, they, they dejected him. Everybody left him. But now they started returning. And the Bible says, and all his sisters, and all they that had been his acquaintance before. Before. The ministry of men brought favor to Job. Something happened and the men left and the favor went with them. Men are custodians of favor. And the Bible says, and he did eat bread. They did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And what happened? Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold how many of them every it was like a roll call you were my friend before and you left me where are you bring your money favor i like you to pray and say lord every destiny helper that has left my life before they must appear with their blessings lift your voice and cry 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 everyone the acquaintances that left him before. They left him before. Shekete kete. Rekoto koto baba. Rapari kete. In the name of Jesus. We call help us. We call help us.
call them forth call them forth call them forth call them forth Hallelujah. 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 I like us to pray. The Bible says all that happened to Job when he prayed for his friends. Praise the Lord. Pair yourselves into two. I like you to hold the hand of somebody. We're going to provoke a divine mystery. He prayed for his friend. Please, I'd like you to pray. Whether you are holding your friend, your brother, your classmate, leave the issue of relationship now. I'd like you to prophesy and say, I restore by the power mandated upon my life. I call forth favor upon your life. Pray. Oh, you have an anointing. Pray. Pray. Release miracles in the life stand upon your priestly position pray oh i'm mandated to bless you my brother i prophesy to you my sister i end your misfortune i end your misfortune by the anointing of the holy ghost a mantle is upon me and i speak to you I speak to you favor 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 upon you favor upon you it must speak it must speak I give it a voice favor
I speak upon your life, hallelujah, before I speak upon your life, I want to pray for you. Please, everybody pray. I want you to stand, if you can take off your shoes and stand upon the ground. The earth is a universal point of contact. Everything alive makes contact with the earth. Everything alive. Every destiny helper you meet is at this point touching this ground just like you. And we are going to pray. The, pro the prophet said, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. There is a mystery of the earth. I like you to pray and say as I walk upon this ground, wherever my helper is, I call you by prophecy. Come into my life. Go ahead and pray. Pray, 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 please. We are not playing. Wherever they are, I use the earth as a token. I use the earth as a token of prophecy. I use the earth as a token. Mark apparatus. Oh earth, hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. Locate my helper. Locate my helper. Financial helpers. Ministry helpers. Business helpers. Oh earth, I make a contact with you. Pray. Caparoto supregede, engrapatoko roko supregede, sparianda kareto skobash, rapato supregede, rakoto skoprende gede bosh, teera rabo sona na Maria rarare. hallelujah hallelujah please remain we are still praying give us job chapter 5 i want to show you a mystery job 5 22 and 23 our earth is surrounded by mysteries those who understand this will know how to reign in life job 5 22 and 23 please media are you there And destruction and famine at destruction and famine thou shall laugh I will tell you why listen neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth verse 23 for thou shall be in covenant with the stones of the field listen he said and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you there is a mystery here he says I will put you in covenant with this earth and instruct that everywhere the earth sees you it must make everything on it favor you i show you a mystery listen listen to what i'm teaching you it says you will be in league you know what it means to be in league covenant everything upon it when it sees you it tells the animals and every hostility be at peace this man is in covenant with us i'd like you to pray and say oh earth hear the word of the lord I have a covenant of peace every business upon the ground every helper upon the ground be at peace with me be at peace with my destiny pray pray you shall be at peace in league with the stones of the field money will not run away from you money was made from the earth it has a spirit pray there is a covenant of my destiny and the earth 
I speak to you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. Thou shalt be in covenant. I speak to you. Speak to the earth. Speak to it. It has an ear. I speak to you. Every resource within you, around you, upon you, answer to me. Every resource within you, around you, answer to my destiny. Everywhere you see me, answer to me in the wilderness, in the plain, on land. Every hostility that happens upon the earth shall not be my portion. No accident, no terrorism, no lack. I'm in league with the stones of the field. No longer will resources run away from me. They come to me in abundance. hallelujah hallelujah listen there are five elements that become conduits for the expression of the supernatural five elements by the way don't you think that what we have done or what we are doing is some sort of demonic thing no hosea chapter 12 said i have spoken to you by the prophet i have used similitudes i have used tokens representations to communicate my intent i have used tokens similitudes to speak to you they understood this mystery that was why every time god did, did a thing they would raise an altar and be at peace with the earth and raise an altar and say this altar even when we leave this city make sure you speak for us we were supposed to kill certain people but we spared them and so we raised an altar there and we ate bread there so that any man that dare touches us the altar will speak my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you take my praise oh god take my praise hallelujah when the lord was showing me this mystery i've shared it with you there was a year this is not something you just do foolishly I started trekking from the roundabout of Chiki Republic to aviation. The Lord made me do so. And I was just walking on the ground and praying in tongues like a fool. I didn't know I was entering a covenant. Every principality in this city knows. I told you there is a spirit in this city that makes things old. The lifespan of impact in this city is three years. After three years, there is a force that draws your life back to nonsense. There are great men that have written, risen from this city, but they do not know the art of war in the spirit. And when I walked upon that, I was tired, I was hungry, but I was speaking. The Bible says, everywhere the sole of your feet, not the desire of your heart, everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon. What did he say? He said, I give you. That means you define the limit of your territory. I'd like you to pray. And say i'm standing upon the earth the same way the ground is not upon me hardship return to where you belong you are under my feet lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray i'm standing upon the earth hardship cannot be upon me i'm standing upon the earth is a sign of dominion is a sign of power is a sign of sovereign control I command situations, I command circumstances,
come back under my feet come back under my feet come back under my feet everything above me mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny you come under my feet you come under my feet you come under my feet hallelujah hallelujah I was sharing with the school of ministry students this morning a very humorous experience that happened to me somebody called me at the beginning of this fast and he said apostle the Lord instructed me I'm a professional tailor and the Lord instructed me that from today I shall handle all your clothes and begin to sew your clothes for you I want to come and collect your measurement and all I need to do is to sew your clothes the Bible says strangers shall feed your flock if you don't don't you think it's happening just because we are men of God this ministry we have seen strange I, I will not even begin to give you the testimony because it will make some of you angry the finger of God the strange manifestation of the favor and the wisdom of God there is such a thing called the mantle of favor a man can have it there is such a thing called the mantle of favor there are unbelievers they are not born again but they are some of the biggest financiers of some of the ministries that you see around the biggest financiers and they will say god said this i was sharing with somebody of a lady he started with one but there are three of them they are they believe their assignment in my life is to send me five thousand naira recharge card every month as a covenant hallelujah there are people who do me transfers to my account every month of their life as a covenant between them and god god is my witness i don't know some of them i don't even know how they got my account some will tell me i had a dream some will say i did this brothers and sisters if you think you must know somebody to bless you you are joking get set to die poor are you hearing what i'm saying hmm. wisdom strategies the bible says an uzziah it says uzziah became strong because he was marvelously helped of the lord we are going to pray and say lord help me listen when god helps a man your story must change i like be humble and say lord i've done my best help me lift your voice and pray uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped i pray lord help me you yourself be my helper pray Pray, pray, pray. Soka para tu shotos, se prekete lekota, pareke to soto pekete. Are we praying, please? Help me. Ebenezer, the helper of Zion. Ebenezer. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say. hallelujah hallelujah please if you can lift your hands as i speak over your life i want you to believe it there is such a thing as a mantle of favor not the gift of favor the mantle of favor in the name that is above all names the resurrected christ he said worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive for us riches I pray for you every cause of misfortune upon your life today we bury it forever in the name of Jesus we bury it forever in the name of Jesus every signature of hardship every signature of misfortune in your life 
in this year kapote kerika Zeteleketariata. In the name of Jesus, I bring it to an end. I bring it to an end. The Bible says, Haggai, the one who dressed the virgins of the king, gave Esther a certain kind of ointment and she kept rubbing it for one year. When she stood before the king, he desired her. I pray for you. By this mantle, let any man who sees you desire to bless you. Desire to help you. Desire to bless you. Hallelujah. I pray for everything dying in your hand. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I stand upon this anointing in the name of Jesus. Like Jesus called Lazarus from the grave every misfortune every dying business every dying career every dying idea jack back to life this night in the name of jesus jack back to life please help that brother help that brother jack back to life in the name of jesus jack back to life in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for you that grace that makes men accomplish so much in such a short time in the name of the resurrected christ i'm praying for you beginning from today let that favor cause speed in your life let that favor bring speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life listen from today i like you to walk conscious of the fact that the mantle of favor is upon me as you move around know it don't don't just be emotional this night i walk all the time knowing that there is favor upon my life i expect people to bless me anywhere anywhere at the airport bus station anywhere i expect it because it's not about the people it's about what is on me lay your hands on your head say father today i receive this mantle of favor mantle of favor i command you begin to speak speak to the north speak to the south speak to the east speak to the west in the name of jesus i command you attract to my life people attract to my life opportunities attract to my life resources in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm praying for you my god like a cloak let it come upon your people that mantle of favor some of you beginning from this night as you leave is like a mark upon you you will find people favoring you everywhere and anyone who is connected to this grace those online businesses let me pray specifically for businesses i pray for businesses in the name of jesus every business every investment any financial platform hear the word of the lord we superimpose your weakness by the favor of the lord in the name of jesus i speak to every job in this place every career that has refused to move forward we force it to move forward we force it to move forward anything that must enter your hand between today and friday we prophesy it must enter your hand it must enter your hand thank you for lifting thank you for lifting
Thank you for lifting Thank you for my head. Thank you for lifting.